I've been missing the way you touch me, baby. Kisses on my neck and the love you gave me. Okay, you guys, so these are the two products that I have been using lately on my skin. Um, and I'll use these after I cleanse my skin with whatever cleanser I am using, or if I am doing the um, Vaseline and um, Colgate toothpaste uh, regimen uh, or face mask that I've been doing lately. Following that, I will use the Rosehip Seed Oil and the oil of Olay or the Olay Regenerist. So um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of come on here and show you uh, the products before I actually get into using them. So this is the uh, rosehip seed oil that I've been using is by a company called Pure Dura, uh, Pure Dior, <laughs> Pure Dior. Um, it's out of California. It is certified organic and um, hope y'all are getting a good view of this. So yeah, this um, this is probably a better view or better look at the products. But again, this is out of California, so I ordered it on Amazon. You get four ounces of this, um, and uh, <clears throat> I have really been enjoying the results that I've gotten with it, you all. I have, like I said in the past, typically used um, Aveeno products. I also still use my Jade Roller. I've recently been using the Colgate and Vaseline, so I'll show you that res regimen when I put that, uh, like a face mask using the Colgate uh, toothpaste and the Vaseline on my skin, and then um, once I wash it off or rinse it off with warm water, I will follow behind it with the Olay Regenerist. And um, this product is really good. I have found that it has been very helpful with um, the issues surrounding um, uh, what am I trying to say, wrinkles. <laughs> um, as we get older, as we age, I have seen some changes, significant changes in my skin. Um, I still use um, a moisturizer um, following that, which right now my moisturizer has been my 100% organic rosehip seed oil. And this is the company that it's by. Okay, you guys. So the other thing that I have been doing differently with my skin is doing a face mask using just plain old regular Colgate toothpaste. This is the advanced whitening Colgate total, but it's just the white toothpaste, the Colgate toothpaste, not the gel. And then the, uh, this is just regular Vaseline. The label's kind of messed up there, but it's just regular, the original uh, Vaseline is not scented or anything like that. I have been doing, like I said, a face mask using these two products that I bought just at the Dollar Tree. I have seen some videos, like I said, of some other YouTubers or individuals who have been using these products and they talked about their results. I've seen some reviews about this uh, little face mask or do-it-yourself process. We'll talk about it. I'll, well, I, I will insert a clip of me showing you this new routine that I've been doing um, with the Colgate and Vaseline face mask and then I follow behind it with my um, rosehip seed oil as my moisturizer. I have been really loving enjoying the results. They are very economical compared to spending a lot of money for some face products but I really have just really been impressed with how good my skin feels and looks after doing this. I've been doing it for about right at a month and so here I'm just showing you how I mix the Vaseline paste uh, mixture together. Just a good amount of both uh, on the index of each hand. Of course, my hands are already clean um, and I mix them together on my hands. So I, I don't use any type of mixing bowl or utensils. This is how I do it. Um, and also I wanted to mention that the toothpaste that I'm using, not the toothpaste that we use to brush our teeth with, I purchased that tube specifically um, to use for uh, this uh, face mask routine. And here you can see I'm just careful to not get the mixture in my eyes, so just be careful when you're putting it around your eyes. And put it on my eyebrows. But I also um, do put it on my neck, put it everywhere on my face, and I even put it on my lips. And I leave it on for about 20 minutes. You could probably do 20 to 30 minutes. I think I do about 20 minutes. And usually I put it on uh, before I get into the shower, and I just kind of let the steam from the shower help to soak in um, and yeah, that's just my little process.
Okay, you guys, I am back and I am out of the shower. So I have already rinsed off the uh, Vaseline and uh, Colgate toothpaste. And then I followed behind that with my Pure Dura Rosehip Seed Oil. This is how it looks. I ordered this particular brand off of Amazon, but you can use whatever organic, all natural um, Rosehip Seed Oil. This has no additives. It's 100% Rosehip Seed Oil. Um, I did a little bit of research about the benefits of using this product and so I am loving the results. I've already put some on, but um, <clears throat> I can just show you. I use this one comes in a pump, and I do a couple of squirts of it, and maybe about six squirts or so, and I just um, moisturize my skin with it. I am loving the results. It is really soft, makes my skin very soft and supple. As with that Vaseline and toothpaste uh, mask or process, my skin feels out, feels very supple and very moisturized and hydrated. Um, I feel like it did help with, you know, benefits of reducing wrinkles. Not that I had a lot of wrinkles, but I could definitely tell a softer um, texture to my skin. So I am really, really enjoying using that and then following behind it with the rosehip seed oil as my moisturizer. But um, yeah, this is the final part of the process of what I've been doing with my 50 year old skin. So I'm going to come back and talk to you at the end of the video in just a minute. Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. Um, like I said, this uh, video was just me trying out uh, the Vaseline and Colgate toothpaste DIY skincare hack. I have seen other videos out there and read up about people's results, uh, read up on people's results regarding what happened to their skin when they used it. And honestly, I will say that I feel like my results were really good. I've done it a couple of times, um, like two times a week for maybe the past three weeks. And so I'm satisfied with it. I think it is something that I will continue to do on a routine basis periodically here and there. Like I said, I feel like my results um, were that my skin seemed to be brightened. Um, it opened up the the uh, receptiveness, to, receptiveness to moisture. So when I came behind it with the rosehip seed oil, I feel like it just made it more supple and very soft. Um, I do feel like it just kind of removed an extra dead layer of skin. So that's just me and my results. I, you know, if it's something you want to try, you would definitely want to read up on it and see for yourself. But for me, I think it's something I will continue to incorporate in my skincare regimen. And most definitely uh, the rosehip seed oil. I am going to definitely Definitely order some more of this like I said my daughter and I both have eczema and we suffer from really dry skin she has even had some eczema excuse me some acne and we've seen an, uh, an incredible improvement in her skin just from using the rose hip seed oil alone so that I ordered on Amazon I will leave a link down below to the one that I purchased I paid about $14.99 for mine so I'm very satisfied with the, the rose hip seed oil so I think essential oils are really good and you know read up on it it is um, known to have some natural antioxidants it also helps to brighten uh, your skin as well and it ha helps to um, remove or alleviate hyperpigmentation or dark, dark spots so I can definitely she and I both can attest to that that there has definitely been some improvement in our skin with regards to that and I use that twice a day in the morning and in the night uh, nighttime before I go to bed so I'm satisfied with both of these little uh, uh, trial routines that I'm incorporating into my skincare, my 50 year old skin, because you know it's never too late to start taking care of ourselves as best as we can, and especially if we could do it while saving a dime. So, two dollars for the Vaseline and the Colgate, and fifteen dollars or $14.99 for this um, rose hip seed oil, I think is a good deal. So, that is all I have to say for this video. I'd like to say thank you so much for coming back to visit me here in PJ's place. I hope you come back to visit me again. Please share me with those that you think would be interested in seeing videos that are geared towards the mature lady. Please follow me on Instagram at PJIAM. And until another video, that's that.